Hi, and welcome to this quick demonstration. Today, we will look at the integration between Beyond Trust and SailPoint, SailPoint Identity IQ. Uh, there's also an integration available for Identity Now, which is the cloud managed version uh, of, of the uh, SailPoint solution. And what we'll do today is we'll, we'll cover you know, some of the benefits of the integration, the newer or newest integration, which is based on, on the SKIM uh, interface and the new PAM module that's available as an option in SailPoint. And you know, what we're looking at right now, we're connected as a user called Root. Uh, and she can see that she's been assigned some access reviews. Uh, these contain a bunch of attributes, including uh, PAM attributes. And we'll, uh, we'll start by looking at a few examples. But first, let me just switch to my, uh, my admin console. So this is the Beyond Insight web console for the Beyond Trust solution. Uh, and right now I use it uh, mostly for one product, which is password safe. So it's all about users being allowed or not to check out credentials, manage credentials for privilege accounts. And there is a group here that's called API access, and it basically gives access to uh, some APIs. So it has a bunch of, a bunch of features uh, enabled for developers. Um, and it also has a couple of smart groups uh, assigned and you know, I look at all assets, all managed accounts. This is a demo environment, so it's pretty much open. But you know, you can see that my user has full control over those two uh, groups of accounts and assets. And we can see also that some some roles uh, have been enabled for these. Um, and uh, you know, if I look at the, you know properties I can see you know this is for a requester um, and there's a policy for access so so this is the kind of information that we need to represent in SailPoint and be able to you know make, make sense of it put it in front of business users so they can understand what they're looking at or maybe it's a technical user that we uh, want uh, them to review um, you know some of the groups uh, the definitions of the groups the roles that exists in in the PAM solution, which is Beyond Trust. Um, and if I, you know, go back to my group here, I can see that I have a couple of users, <coughs> Amy Miller, and API admin. Um, and now we're going to move over to SailPoint IIQ, Identity IQ, and we'll take a look at at, uh, at how we represent this information and how we action it. So I'm connected right now as the administrator. And of course, uh, I have uh, some applications that are defined. And the first one is just Active Directory, which is very typical. But then I have you know, the Beyond Trust PAM, which is based on, on, on the scheme interface. And I could uh, look into the details for, for this application. But basically, the ID uh, behind this integration is to allow SailPoint to be able to see what's going on. Uh, within you know the RBAC delegation model of, of of Beyond Trust and be able to represent that in a way uh, that you know all users will be able to understand. So I'm not going to cover all the details here, but this is included in the documentation. But I'm basically collecting different types of of, of uh, objects, account, group, uh, and it's based on the on the container object, which is part of the scheme definition. So I can you know use these attributes to try to represent this information as much as I can within SailPoint. And if I look at my identity uh, warehouse, I'm going to be able to find some users, including Amy Miller. I can see, you know, we're calculating risk here based on the type of access that Amy is associated with. Um, you know, that that's pretty much uh, turnkey. Uh, information here that, that I'm using. I didn't really change the uh, default settings in, in SailPoint IIQ. And I can see, you know, the entitlements for my user. And if I scroll down here, I'm going to see that I created some role here. I start to work on some role definitions. Uh, but I can see also some entitlements, including my, you know, API access uh, group here. And if I drill down on this one, I'm going to be able to see, you know, some uh, information about the group, object properties, and now, you know, this is getting interesting. Now we can start to represent, 
a smart rule as a target associated with rights. So I can see that my user is assigned to all major accounts. Um, and it also has read uh, access, not full control, but read. It's defined as a requester. Actually, this one has the right access as well. So I have read and write. Um, I can see other members of this group. And I can also uh, see that it's related to unstructured data. With the PAM module in Identity IQ, I have a way to represent this type of information, which is called unstructured. That is, uh, you know, not 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 formatted, you know, like a, let's say an LDAP permission and an LDAP directory. So this was originally created for managing file systems and documents. Um, or, or things you know uh, uh, of that nature, but it also it, it is also a good way to try to represent uh, information in in a PAM solution here, which is not just about you know ACLs and groups, but it has you know smart rules, uh, permissions, roles, and that's the information here that we're we're trying to represent um, within within the cell point. So that's the first you know step. We need to be able to you know. Uh, represent this information in a way that will be able to support the, the processes in in, uh, in cell point. And let me show you a few things here. So you know, first, I'm going to switch back to my other browser. I'm connected as root marshall, and I can see that I have some reviews uh, assigned to to myself. So I can uh, you know start to take a look at those uh, at those reviews. Or resume the work on those reviews, and of course the idea here is to be able to represent, uh, you know, some of the permissions in in a way that users can can understand them. So I can add labels. I can um, I can also control the behavior of those uh, access reviews. And the idea here is my user can approve or revoke some other permissions here within the review. But if I go back to my own page as user root, I'm going to see something else here. I can see that I have a warning for policy violation. And, you know, on top of calculating risk, you know, if a user is, is associated with, you know, multiple accounts, whether it's a service account or another account within the PAM, that's going to contribute to the risk score. But I can also create some SOD, uh, SOD rules, include them in policies. And here, what you see is basically one of those rules firing because it detected that my user, Amy Miller, is uh, a Linux admin. So she uh, she's in a Linux admin uh, group or row, but she's also uh, an API uh, manager or developer. So that that's, you know, uh, just an SOD rule that, that I came up with as an example, but that's another important use case here. It's important to be able to represent the information, but it's also important to be able to detect conditions that are suspicious or high risk. And this is what we're doing here. And there's something else that I want to show you. Of course, you know, we're, we're just uh, scratching the surface here, but I want to show you one uh, other important um, feature that we get out of the uh, scheme uh, application. So I'm just going to go back to my browser that's connected as the administrator. And what I want to do here is um, I want to be able to uh, change access. So we have provisioning enabled um, you know, for this specific integration via the scheme uh, connector. And uh, what we're going to do here, we're just going to search for a user. So I'm going to search for M. Davis, and I can see Marta Davis here, who reports to Amy Miller. So yeah, that's the user I want to I want to use. So I'm just going to click Next, and now I can you know search for specific entitlements that I would like to add. I can also remove access using the uh, integration, but let me just search for my example group, my API access group. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to request this group for Marta Davis and submit this request. So what's happening now 
via the scheme integration, Identity IQ is sending uh, provisioning requests to Beyond Trust. And shortly we should be able to see the confirmation that the request was processed successfully. And right now I'm using the access request uh, uh, form to be able to do that. But of course, if I go into a review and I click revoke on a specific entitlement um, or something like that, you know, this is something that could also trigger a provisioning or deprovisioning request in the case of a, of a revoke. Here we go. So our request was submitted successfully. And now if I look at my identities within Identity IQ, if I search for M. Davis, I'm going to be able to you know, see the list of entitlements with you know, the new value here. API access and more important you know if I go to beyond trust and I look at the group definition again if I look at my users I will be able to see Marta Davis here so my user count went up to three and now I have my new user assigned to this group here and I could do the opposite as well I could just decide that hey you know we don't want Marta to have that permission within uh, Identity IQ. So I could, you know, use a request form or I could also, you know, do this through a review. Come here. And, you know, search for Marta Davis. But then here, instead of selecting add access I'm going to select remove access and now I can see all the permissions or groups some of them are requestable because they are direct entitlements others are not of course you know this is a restriction and I could you know decide that I want to you know select one of those and remove it and this would also result in a deprovisioning request sent to beyond trust to deprovision that uh, that user and you know there is also the need to you know update uh, update the uh, list of entitlements and accounts you know within uh, within sale point versus you know what what is is current and even if we saw the permission being added um, in the identity warehouse for the user you know we still need in between to you know update ourselves to confirm that um, you know all the all the accounts and permissions you know are still being reflected uh, in in a correct way so these are some aggregation tasks that I, I need to run and they're fairly standard so if I look at the one for payment structure this is the one that you know is uh, king on on the application definition to be able to collect the unstructured data and I didn't I have to do much except for selecting, you know, my PAM unstructured uh, system. This is the name I gave to the uh, unstructured data uh, portion. That's uh, that's part of the Beyond Trust uh, application. And uh, this is all, you know, after I configure my application, I can, you know, make sense of that information and organize it in a way that. Identity IQ will, will allow me to action that information. And if we look into the application itself, you know, you can go under unstructured target, and this is where you need to configure the uh, unstructured target for uh, Identity IQ to be able to make sense uh, of the information. Again, you can see that it's connecting to my Beyond Trust server using the skim and uh, it's just using a not out of box correlation rule to, to make sense of, of these and eventually tie them back to accounts, groups, and, and users. So that concludes the uh, 
presentation for today, for this uh, integration between uh, CellPoint and, and Beyond Trust, which is one of the integrations that, that are available. There's also a similar integration available for an entity now, the cloud managed version offered by, by CellPoint. Um, and we are continuously working with CellPoint and our customers to try to expand, you know, the uh, use cases, expand the value around this integration, find new uh, use cases, and uh, add more content, more documentation to uh, allow our customers and partners to be able to, uh, you know, install, deploy, and benefit from this integration in, in the most effective way. So th thank you very much for watching this video, and until next time, I hope you'll have a very good day.